Hello again, everyone, and welcome to the post football signing day recap with head coach Doug Geyser. Dusty Sloan along here with you as we wrap up Coach Geyser's first football signing day as head coach. And Doug, let's just do an overall overarching uh, recap of what you've seen from the class so far today. Uh, it's, we're in, we should be having 49 guys signed today, Dusty, and we're pretty excited about uh, the uh, not only the depth, but also the width of the class as well. Uh, we had a lot of needs going into, um, especially after graduating a number of you know, good players off of last year's championship team. So the uh, specific, uh, excuse me, specific areas we want to touch on were offensive line and safety and also wide receiver. We graduated a lot of guys in all those spots, so it was job one to replenish in those areas. And you've certainly done that. As of this filming, we're up in the high 30s as far as officially signed as of right now. And Doug, the big fish it seemed like from what everybody was talking about was Drew Novak, the quarterback from Western Brown. Let's talk a little bit about him. Drew Novak, we're very, very blessed to get him. He was the first commit in this year's class. And uh, talk about a tremendous talent. Uh, a lot of Division One interest. Max schools were even calling him up to the, up to the last couple of days, trying to sway him. And so we're very fortunate again. He led the country as a junior in passing, passing yards. So uh, this year he was division. He was only Division Three Player of the Year, Offensive Player of the Year. So we're very, very excited to add him, add him into the mix. Um, great persona, great leadership presence. And oh, by the way, you can throw the ball a little bit too. As we mentioned, you're in your infancy here as the head coach at Ashland. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you've been here a lot longer than that. But the transition from Lee Owens retiring, you being the interim, and you being the, named the permanent head coach. Were there any hiccups in this class, or did it actually run smooth despite all that? It ran a lot smoother than I expected. You know, we had a, we had a month, you know, uh, part there where I was the interim, and we had even six commits through the interim period. And I was after I was named, they were my first calls, and just telling, hey, it's, it is official now, and oh by the way, I appreciate you buying in and trusting me before I even had a title, having that faith. So um, this first class will always be special, you know, to me in that respect. I'd like to give a special shout out to the staff. The staff did a tremendous job. We hit the ground running. It was like, when I was named the interim, it was like the next day. There was work to be done. We're not worried about anything else. Let's go secure the best players we can for this year's class. And the staff did a tremendous job hustling their butt off. And one of the things people will notice right away when we look at the GoAshenEagles.com and you see all the recruits that are coming in, there are three transfers as well. And there's one player who's quite intriguing who I guess could be the next Adam Shaheen as, as far as basketball to tight end. Talk about Brett Martin a little bit. Brett Martin is a, a, a graduate of Maslin High School, the Maslin. Did not play football before. He was, he was always a basketball player, had a great career as a basketball player at Marietta. And we've got some Maslin ties on our staff with Tom Stacy and Evan Burberry. And I recruited that area too. And he reached out and say, you know, hey, I'm, I'm, I want to be a graduate transfer, come in and get a chance to play tight end. And so the, the legacy and the aura and then you know of Adam Shaheen does live on and people see that they see that transition and they want to be the next guy so we hopefully he can add, add a little something to that. Obviously football signing day a very big day in every football program season but obviously you're in like we said in the infancy of your head coach you've got a 100 day plan and you're very early in that 100, year, 100 day plan mm -hmm. so what has it been like for you has your hair been on fire so far have you been able to sleep at all since you've been named the permanent head coach? Uh, sleeping a little bit um, running around like a chicken with my head cut off at times. Uh, because during recruiting, what we did, we're down one man, obviously my spot in recruiting. So we made a conscious decision. We weren't going to hire anybody until signing day. So I wore two hats during this time. One was Doug, the guys are the assistant who has his own recruiting area, but also Doug guys are the head coach. So it did spread me a bit thin at times, but you know, Hey, it's the cost of doing business. I knew what I signed up for. And, uh, you know, the most important thing was adding, people to this team to help us for next year you know so everything else can kind of take a back seat at that point so it's been a little hectic yes but I knew what I signed up for and I'm, I'm, I'm excited to have that opportunity and one of the exciting things off the field that we announced earlier this week on GlassNeagles.com every single program in our athletic department in the fall semester of 2022 had a three-point GPA or higher and that includes the football team and when you've got a team that's as big a roster as yours yeah. you've got to be thrilled with that number it's you're tremendously thrilled we we talked to all the recruits and talked to all our players first about academics first. And the reason you come here is to be a student first and you get that degree. Shame on you if you don't. So it just adds credence to that as well. Um, Reggie Gamble does a great job. Elizabeth Hogue do a great job um, helping our young guys, mentoring the young guys, setting them up for study table, tutors, whatever the case might be, giving them the, the help and support they need. You know, so they did a great job this, this past fall and uh, we're very proud of them. 
Obviously, spring football is coming up. We're going to have the spring game coming up at the end of April. Let's go back to the recruiting class one more time. And the one thing that stuck out to me so much in doing those bios on the website this morning was winners. You've got players from winning programs that are hopefully just going to continue with the winning tradition that this program has. That's a conscious effort. That's a conscious effort. When you add players from winning programs, players that help maybe help turn a program around, it, they know what it takes to get there. They understand the sacrifice, the work ethic, all the work that's done behind the scenes where nobody else watches you. And so you can be more demanding with them because they've been that they've been through that already. And we talked to our guys, you know, after after the season, we challenged them. My first meeting as a head coach, we did, had a great team last year. You guys prepared your tails off. We got to the round of 16. Tremendous kudos to you for that. If you want to go beyond that, you need to prepare even a little bit harder. If you're going to prepare the same way, you're going to get the same result. Okay, so your definition of insanity with there. So. If you want something a little more, you got to find a little more in your preparation. And watching our guys in the offseason so far, they've been doing a tremendous job. Tremendous job. I watch them down working out with Malcolm Majeski and his staff in the weight room, and you can just feel the electricity. You can feel the energy and guys pushing each other, wanting more. You see guys in the NIST. You see guys on, on Jack Miller Stadium doing extras. Sometimes people are watching, sometimes they're not. But they know it's what we need to do if we want to clear that first hurdle. Um, our first game next year is against IUP, the team that knocked us out of the playoffs. So that's a special, special opportunity for us, and the guys are preparing for that. And that's the last thing we're going to touch on. We're going to release the entire 2023 schedule tomorrow on GoAshenEagles.com. And you mentioned IUP. There's also six home games on that schedule in the regular season. Yes. And that's something that I know our athletic director, Al King, has been wanting to do for a long time, and we've yeah. got it accomplished. Yeah. We have a tremendous facility here. It's a great venue to watch a game, and it's, it's another opportunity for our guys to play at home which we always like to give them those opportunities to play 11 games plus, hopefully, and also be able to do it at home in front of our own fans. It's, it's a very, very special opportunity, and we're very, very proud of that. Go AshlandEagles.com for all the information you need on the football program and all 24 of our sports. Doug, congratulations on signing day. Thank you. Thank you, Dustin.